How was missions done? Missions was largely carried on two vehicles. Vehicle number one was the hospitality of the Christian community. Wherever you go, stay with brothers and sisters in Christ. And to those of us who are brothers and sisters, when somebody comes in the name of the Lord, open up your home for them. They don't pay for it. They don't need to struggle about where they sleep. Receive those who come in my name and you will receive a blessing. Jesus teaches his disciples in Matthew chapter 10. Do not say no to a stranger. We're taught in the book of Hebrews. The model of missions depended on hospitality in a traditional culture. You're always welcome into my home if you come in the name of the Lord. You have a place to sleep, you have food, there's bed and board, and you don't need to even ask for, you know, how much do I pay or how long can I stay? You are welcome. The other thing that missions in the early century depended on was the Pax Romana, the peace of Rome. That there were all these cobbled roads that linked up all the major trade centers, and they were guarded and protected and safe. So they could travel, the likes of Paul could travel around the Roman Empire relatively safe. And because he was a Roman citizen, he could travel with a relative freedom. He was not a slave. He could travel with relative freedom. The Pax Romana and the hospitality of the early church. 